It has been widely believed that the universe has billions of planets in it, some of which may be capable of supporting life. One of humanity's biggest desires has been to understand our role in the cosmos. For many years, some of history's finest minds have struggled with this subject. However, it took many centuries after the invention of the telescope, and a rudimentary knowledge of the scientific process for us to speculate about our solar system in more detail. For decades has been significant for extraterrestrial life discovery. Expect some scientific advancements to be made shortly, but the search for life where it has brought us, and where it is going is uncertain. Scientists confident that alien signals could be detected, have already been perusing the skies since that moment. They began by studying for signals, but now they're seeking any presence of lights as well. SETI, search for extraterrestrial intelligence scientists, have to remain open-minded. The information we receive from such civilizations could be strange or misleading. It is in essence how astronomers in the field are looking for unnatural and odd signals. They search deep space for an unknown phenomenon that is not the product of any known natural astrophysical event. To give an example, while wow signal from 1977, which may be still unexplained, will always remain mysterious. Ohio State University's radio dish discovered something so unexpected that Jerry Emmon, the astronomer in charge of the discovery, recorded the single word wow in the records worksheet. They went back over the same area numerous times in the hopes of getting another ping, but it was to no avail. Scientists disagree on the value of SETI research. In a 2010, Stephen Hawking raised the concern that we may expose ourselves to terrible dangers if we were to communicate with other civilizations. Answer back was what he stated we needed to avoid. Coming face to face with an alien civilization may be like the Native Americans first meeting with Columbus or possible invasion. Researchers further down the line of thinking hold the belief that any species smart enough to arrive to Earth and enslave or devour us would have already learned that we're here. To ensure no backlash, revolutionary communication promises not to put any SETI words on the air until the debates have finished. Mankind has sent messages several times, most notably in 1974 with the Arecibo transmission. Humans send out a constant stream of radio waves, making it easy for anyone in the universe who's listening in to discover us. Similarly, some researchers are continuing their search for Martian life and are focused on finding extraterrestrials that have unintentionally arrived on Earth. It is said that asteroids and comets sent many millions of boulders from Mars to Earth following a catastrophic event. More Earth matter has accumulated on Mars than it has on Earth, yet Earth is ultimately receiving more than it is giving. This is because the Sun's gravity draws everything in closer. Many researchers believe that it was the movement of minerals on Mars that rendered the planet habitable and allowed life to thrive, and that life on Earth was only a second step. Despite all the talk about a Mars mission for decades, NASA and the other space agencies and enthusiasts across the world have really been trying to reach other planets. The Cassini-Huygens mission changed scientists' views of the Saturn planet and our solar system's possibility to sustain extraterrestrial life when it concluded in September 2017. The Titan, Saturn's biggest moon, which was conducted on the basis of the hypothesis that it contained liquid hydrocarbons, discovered the surface of the moon held lakes and seas of liquid ethane and methane. Although there is much to learn about what sorts of life may exist on other planets, the evidence we have so far suggests life might be possible in this ocean. There have been a number of discoveries made in the previous few years showing the immense variety of planets in our galaxy. The information we have now owes a lot to the Kepler Space Telescope, which served NASA from 2009 to 2018. Kepler has helped identify the majority of 4,400 verified exoplanets so far, 
and it has been discovered that worlds are the most numerous in our cosmos. A number of such Earth-like planets are close by in the cosmic perspective. Even our Sun's nearest neighbor, Proxima Centauri, located about 4.2 light-years away, harbors a comparably Earth-sized exoplanet that may be inhabitable. This is only a sneak peek at some of the extraterrestrial life hunting on the horizon. Thanks to the ever-falling price of launching and manufacturing spacecraft, the cost of all the missions in the coming years could become nearly possible to be made available in the future. Until then, look up in the sky to find the answer. Thank you for taking the time to watch. In order to show your support for this video, please click on the like button. To view future videos, click on the subscribe button, and if you have anything to say, please leave a comment.